Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Happy New Year. Um, it's been a whole year since we saw each other. I know, but I'm saying bad pun. Um, but I went to Dollar Tree and Tuesday morning on the way home yesterday. And I thought I would share the Dollar Tree haul with you guys today. Um, I wanted to go ahead and do that before I started the the um mass attack of the house this coming week and um yeah some of it was cleaning supplies like i told you i'd like to get laundry there's some laundry stuff that i get from dollar tree that i add to my regular laundry um detergent and stuff and so went to get that and i went to the the bigger dollar tree um there's two in my technically two that i are in my I call my vicinity one that I go by every day you know because it's near where I live and the other one is kind of sort on the way home because it's in a shopping area and um, I don't have to really detour too much to go to it so um, I found some Valentine's you know I always say I'm not a big fan of Valentine's but uh, Karen on K is for Karen had shown these and I thought they would be fun um, they're not too big and I can just fill them with some small things for, um, my kids and then a couple of my coworkers. So I grabbed those, um, just because it would be easy. But anywho, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So, um, I'm not showing any of the laundry stuff because uh, too many people complain about, you know, who wants to see your laundry. So I decided not to pick, bring any of that in here to share. Um, just the other items that I found. And I don't know about y'all, but I greeted the new year with my eyes shut. I was in bed probably about 8.30 and sound asleep when that ball dropped. So um, I figure some of y'all might be the same. I used to be a big night owl until my new, you know, my, my working at the hospital. And it, that just night owl days are far behind me now. Um, although I always accomplished way more at night than I do during the daytime. And I've always been that way. Anywho, on to my finds. So, I am not a big rainbow person. I'm really not. However, I thought these would be really fun. Um, they're sectioned really well. And my thought is I am going to put colored vellum um, in these areas here and they didn't glue it there that's okay I got wood glue so that's cool um, and then I can paint these areas different colors and so then the rainbow lights up and then I'll do the same thing with the clouds um, I'll probably I think I'll do a really soft blue here because you know when they you see clouds they kind of accentuate the fluffs of the cloud with blue so I think that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna give these as gifts um, so that's the plan for those and um, they do light up and um, for me the reason why I like to do vellum is uh, sadly these lights I'll show you uh, let's see Does this one light up there you go I mean you see right through it and with the vellum I, it's gonna diffuse it um, I think really make it look nicer and um, yeah so we'll go from there so I pi only picked up two of those and I think those are pretty awesome for a dollar so got that and then I went crazy on these little um, wooden gift boxes they had a couple 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 different patterns so I picked up two of each except for this one because they only had this one this one reminds me of like a pirate's chest but the 
the the clasps, the latches actually work really well. And um, what I'll be doing with these is I will unscrew everything. That way, when I go to paint and Mod Podge, um, ow, sorry, pancake was in my lap. Um, I don't make a mess on the hardware. So let's see. I think there's four designs. There's yeah, there's four designs. So. that one. So um, I'll clean up, you know, where they didn't do a really good job of cleaning up, you know, here. So I'll do a little bit of sanding uh, prep work before the painting and the Mod Podge. So I was really happy to find those because this kind of stuff's rarely like in stock whenever I pop into Dollar Tree. Uh, to continue with the wood, I picked up two more of these pineapples, um, and I'll be painting and probably Mod Podging these as well. Um, these I will keep for myself. The pineapple stuff is for me. And then they had, I'm a very, um, I'm really big into uh, symmetry, so I will almost always grab two of something. Uh, I've always been that way. Um, but, so I grabbed those. So, let's see. And then, I picked up two more of these pineapples because I just love them. Again, these are going to be painted and Mod Podged. And again, I'm going to do the same thing with the vellum, um, in, in the back to diffuse the really harsh light. So... There are those. This isn't going to be a very long video. Man, he drew some blood when he jumped out of my lap. I found another cute pair of fuzzy socks. Um, I think this is a koala. And I, I wear the fuzzy socks around the house because I can't stand... Um, I can't stand dirty feet and, and, you know, granted, yeah, we vacuum and a sweep and mop all the time. I, I'm just really weird about dirty feet. So I'm always wearing socks. Um, I, I've just always been crazy like that. Then I'm only going to show two of each, but I got a total of three of each. But, well, darn it. Get back here. Um, okay, so Karen showed these on her channel, and there is, a th I think, a third pattern in the store, but I did not like it, but they're these really cute little acrylic uh, buckets, and they even have a seal on the lid, and um, so, I mean, if you want to put cookies in there, I mean, they'll, they should stay fresh, and, um, I might go grab a couple more just so I can get everybody in the office. Um, but I just thought these were super adorable. And for a dollar, I mean, fill them up with a couple of cute things and, you know, like sticky notes and pens and stuff that they can use at their desks and some Hershey Kisses and whatever. And, you know, hey, happy Valentine's. So I got those. Then, um, Karen had shown a bunch of these. My daughter is all into hair masks and face masks and charcoal masks and all that mask stuff. And I wasn't looking for them, but when I walked down the aisle, I looked up and I saw these and I'm like, oh yeah. So... First off, they had L'Oreal, which is a name brand. So they had these Repair and Protect Balm, Antioxidant UV and Ceramide. Ceramide. System protects and revives colored hair in one use. And she just went and had um, highlights put in her hair. And they really had to go, you know, she had darkened her hair before and didn't like what that 
stylist had done. So then she went and found another stylist. And anyway, they had to do a lot of work to get her hair to where she wanted it. But now it's like not soft. And so I went and uh, I grabbed her two of those. Then they had these, it's uh, Beginnings by Hask, Repairing Argon Oil, Conditioning Treatment, Strengthens, Restores, and Smooths Dry and Damaged Hair. Um, I got three of these and then this other one because uh, my hair, this last time I went and had the spiral put in, my hair used to like recover really fast but you know I'm getting older <laughs> and it's just not as soft as it used to be so I picked up three of these and I'm gonna give one to my daughter the other two for me and um and then I also picked up these are nourishing coconut oil conditioning treatment moisturizes and revitalizes all hair types and um same giving her two and me or giving her one and me two that way we both have like four treatments um i wash my hair like every other day just because you know i have an issue with my hair drying can, can dry if i wash it every day it gets really dry um and that's only been since i've gotten older when i was younger um washing my hair every day um, i didn't blow dry it you know um, but as I've gotten older, my hair isn't recovering as quickly. So I wash every other day and um, it seems to be doing well. But I wanted to see what kind of, if that would help at all. Or if I'll just keep with the expensive shampoos and stuff I get at the salon. Then, so I normally buy this in bulk at Walmart. But I saw these little packs. Um, I get this, I get the big, uh, jar of it, and then I also get the, um, eucalyptus and mints, uh, spearmint, uh, the white crystals. These ones are green, and I keep a giant apothecary jar. Um, I have a big, like, garden window off my bathtub, and so I have a huge apothecary jar that I keep my bath salts in. And I just scoop it out and throw it in the bath when I get in there. Let me tell you, this stuff works miracles when your muscles are just like all knotted up. I mean, if you just lay there and soak, I I'm telling you, this stuff is a lifesaver for me. Um, I do this every night. Um, even with the medication I take, by the end of the day, everything is just in giant knots and... Um, I will soak probably for about 30 minutes and then I go take a shower <laughs> and, um, I I'm telling you before you go buy it at Walmart, go pick, you know, if you can find it at the Dollar Tree, go pick one of these up. And I'm telling I mean, if you love the smell of eucalyptus and, um, menthol and spearmint, you're going to love this stuff. I mean, seriously, it's amazing. So I got three of those and, um, yeah, sir, I swear hands down. I, I love this stuff. It's amazing. They had this bigger level and this thing is solid. It doesn't feel like it's going to break. Well made, um, on my desk, it's sitting level. And for a dollar, I might go grab another, a couple of these just to, um, cause I'll keep this in, cause I'm always hanging stuff or moving stuff. And my husband uses a laser, but he gets frustrated with it. And, um, I don't like using the great big one he has down in the garage. So this is a nice size and whoops, whoops, whoops stay um but i just thought that was fantastic and like i said it's it feels like it's made really well which is shocking for a dollar so got that i am always 
and I should have grabbed more and I think I'm gonna go grab more. I always keep antibacterial wipes in my car and um, this was a brand I hadn't seen so I grabbed it and I'm probably gonna go back and grab some more of these because they actually smell really good. And um, yeah, so got that. Um, I grabbed these. I always grab these when I see them. I love like puzzles and model kits. And as I've mentioned before, my husband's a Star Wars nerd. So I grabbed three. And don't worry. Um, the store had a stack, like literally, it was like that high. And I went through all of them and it was all the same, all the same. There weren't any other models, which I wish there were. Um... And I think these normally sell for like anywhere from ten to fifteen dollars, depending where you look for these. Um, so I'm gonna send one to my son because he does these as well. You have to be very careful though, because these these little metal pieces are sharp and they can do some damage, which is sh sad. <laughs> but um, so found those, which I thought was awesome. I mean, so if you got teenage guys. You know, this might be a fun, you know, something to keep them occupied that's not in front of a video game or on a phone or, you know, you know what I mean? So I'm all, I'm, I'm all about getting things that will pull kids away from the TV or the computer or anything like that. Then, two more crafty things. I saw this uh, super glue wood glue. I haven't tried this before, so I thought I would try it out because I have some wood projects in, um, in mind. Plus, we noticed that that rainbow needed some assistance, so I picked up two of those. And then I picked up these, and you're like, wait, Rochelle, that's not crafts. Why can't it be for crafts? I think it's the perfect size for like if you're wanting to distress your cardstock or you know sometimes if um, you're using your paper trimmer and you haven't changed your blade or you need to and you don't have one on hand and it gets you get those little I call them the little fuzzies on the side you can use these to sand it down and clean it up and for a dollar uh, I think it's pretty fantastic and it's sassy and chic so I mean it's it's not high-end high-end but um, so I got two and they had a whole bunch of them. So I grabbed two of those. Um, it's a lot like the, like the quote unquote, the little Dremel tool from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, so I dragged, I dragged, I picked up two of those for the craft room. So there's that. Then the last thing that I got, and I got four of them because you don't see this kind of stuff in Dollar Tree very often. This is a name brand salon product, um, SGXNYC, so Salon Graphics. And um, this is a medium hold, uh, basically it's a hairspray. And um, Karen, on Chaos for Karen, hauled this, a uh, couple different items, but this was the only thing, only item in this line that my store had. And um, it does. It smells pretty good. Now, I prefer, um, I normally use Aussie, the pump spray for my hair, because I don't need a lot of hairspray. Um, but I picked up four of these, and I might actually go grab some more. I only use um, hairspray. Because I clip my hair up and I have like a, I call it a pom-pom ball <laughs> on the back of my head. And, you know, throughout the day, um, I just use this to like finish off so I don't have like flyaway hair throughout the day. So this hairspray is going to last me like forever. Um, four of these will probably last me probably a year and a half. That's how much I use hairspray. I don't, you know, I don't use a lot. Um... But it does. It smells really good. I think she also found the mousse, which I didn't see at my store. And there was something else. I was really hoping I could find them. Um, but no luck. But, you know, again, I'm not going to complain. I'm happy I found those. But that's it. That is all. I Well, that's not all. I picked up 
uh, clean, like I said, the cleaning supplies. Um, I'm not just doing the craft room while I'm off this next week. Like, um, I like to, when I start cleaning, I don't like to be interrupted. I want to start cleaning and get it done. And, um, stuff like, like I want to scrub down the oven. Not that it's gross or anything, but I know some of y'all are probably like me. Um, every couple of months, like I'll, uh, clean the oven out. Um, so I got scouring pads and I got, um, the gloves cause I don't want to destroy my fingernails cause they're finally growing out. Uh, and then what else did I get? Basically I got scouring pads and gloves and some trash bags. Um, now a lot of y'all were like, were excited wanting to see my purge. I'm going to be honest. I really have no intention, and I know you're going to be shocked to hear this. I really have no desire to purge any of my craft stuff. Um, I have plenty of space. It's just getting it organized. And so I have no desire to purge because when I buy craft supplies, I buy them because I will use them now, probably not right away. Um, I know there's a lot of you out there that only buy supplies for projects that you're going to make right away. I don't, you know, um, I buy, I see stuff and I know exactly what I can um, make with it or what I have in mind for it and whether I make it today, six months down the road, three years down the road, doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to pick it up, especially if it is, um, as we all know, crafts can be very expensive and if I can like get a killer deal, I'm, I'm going to get it. Um, again, a lot of y'all call that hoarding. If that's what you want to call it, feel free to call it hoarding. Um, you know, but one thing that can be said, my husband can see where my money goes. And, um, some people are like, well, you spend too much. Well, you know what? Um, I haven't, it hasn't always been this way. I have always been very conscious about, you know, my kids have always been taken care of. My house has always been taken care of. The pets have always been taken care of. The bills are always paid. And then there was nothing left over. Well, you know, we're at a point in our lives now where I can do that. My kids are all adults. They provide for themselves. Of course, I like to still, I still spoil them because I'm their mother. I love them. They work hard. They don't ask for anything that I give them. Um, I think Karen's probably the same way. Um, my kids don't ask. I give. And I am like that because my kids don't expect. My kids are always very thankful and have always been very thankful um, for what I and my husband have provided and their father. Um, and because they are that way, I continue to, if I can and when I can, I still give. Um, so there's that. And in the meantime, I'm buying stuff for me and buying stuff for my husband, stuff for the house, stuff for friends. And um, yeah, and we still put money away. So those of you who say that say that I'm wasteful, um, so be it. But I'm not. I'm not wasteful. Um, when I, and, and I was like, well, you need to sell it. Well, my thing is, I don't, I'm sure you've noticed, I don't sell stuff. Um, there might come a point down the road where I might do some de-stashes, but I'm never comfortable, um, I'm really big on if I see something that somebody needs, I would rather gift it to them than sell it to them. Um, and I've always been that way. Um, just because like when I have been, you know, there was many years where I was just a single mom. Granted, I never asked for anything. I always, you know, I provided for my children. Um, sometimes it was hard, but on occasion somebody would, you know, help. Again, I didn't ask. I never ask. Um, I'm, I'm, I've just, I'm, I'm that way. I don't ask. I think that, you know, when parents have children, um, they need to make sure that their children are always taken care of first. And, um, 
It's not anybody else's responsibility to take care of my children. Uh, but if I am in a position that I can help somebody, I will. Um, there's, you know, I, I reach out quite often to people and I gift things because I can. And, um, you know, if it's something that I know that I'm not going to use, I want it to go to somebody that can and will use it. I just think that's better. Um, some people say, we'll take it to the Goodwill. No, not taking it to the Goodwill. Um, I would, again, now I shop like, I love the Goodwill. I'll shop there. But I, the only thing I take to the Goodwill is we take our clothes. We take our clothes to the Goodwill and that's it. Um, but craft stuff, stuff like that, I, I, I usually gift to people. So... Um, but there, there may be some D stashes this year, but there really won't be any big purging. Um, it's going to be a matter of, as I mentioned, either last video or the couple videos before this year, I plan on being more crafts than buying. Now there's still going to be haul videos. I'm never going to give up haul videos, but, um, I do plan on, and it'll probably be on the weekends where I share, um, I do like project shares and uh, some some tutorials. Uh, really detailed tutorials will probably be coming further down the road. And the reason why I say that is I am someone who I am. Okay, granted, there's nothing perfect. The only thing perfect in the world is the Lord and, um, you know, <clears throat> to me, um, you know, nothing's perfect. You know, you make a quilt, you make a mistake. Well, you know, it's supposed to be that way. And you're the only one that's going to know that the mistake is there. And I totally forgot where I was going with this. Where was I going with that? Totally forgot. But that, hey, that's what happens on this channel. Um, oh, projects. I, when I work on projects, um, if I do videos, it'll probably, it'll have to wait until my editing software is up and running so that I can edit it. Um, it's very hard for me to do live because it could go for hours and hours and hours and I have no desire to do a couple hour live video, um, because I get picky. I, you know, I, I changed my mind, um. Unless I do a project, I like it, and um, it's something that I can share within like a 45-minute video, then I will prep everything, show the first one that I made, and then go about um, showing you how I made it. I'm sure down the road I'll get more detailed than that, but um, a lot of stuff's going to be happening on this channel this year, and um, yeah. So I have, you know, I've been doing a lot of rambling <laughs> this past couple months, but, um, hey, I like to keep it real on here. And, um, yeah, I will, I might do a take on the craft room where I will record sections. I won't, I know there's videos out there where, like, they just put the, the camera up there and just let it go for hours and then speed it up. I'm not going to do that because this is something I'm going to be working on over the next week. And, um, I just, I don't want to commit to something and y'all be like waiting to see it on a specific day and I don't get it up. Um, but there's going to be a lot happening over this, these next nine days. And I'm excited to share it with you when I get to the end. I'll probably share some updates over the next week, but, um, anywho, I hope you enjoyed this very long Dollar Tree haul, which probably half of it now was just me chatting um, but tomorrow I will be sharing a dollar or not a dollar tree, a Tuesday morning haul. Um, I picked up a couple, a couple of things. Um, yeah. So I figure I'll share that with you. And then I'll be honest, I don't know when the next video is going to be as far as crafty hauls go. Um, I think there are some... Tuesday more or not Tuesday more some tonic studios that are on the way and I can't remember what else oh 
I bought something on Amazon that I saw on somebody's video the other day. And when it comes in, um, I'm going to look up the video that I saw it on because she found it. I want to say it's probably Crafting with Gigi or Mommy Loves Gigi, I think. But she found this snow globe stamp and die set deal. And I actually found it on Amazon at a fantastic price. I was shocked. Because um, normally craft stuff isn't cheap on Amazon as far as like, you know, when we can find it other places. But I can't wait for that to come in and share with y'all. So, anywho, that's it. Um, I'm going to start getting this stuff put away. Um, I'm doing lunch with the kids tomorrow. Going out to lunch with them. And then I start attacking the craft room. So... Um, wish me luck. Um, I will pop in here and there. If you don't hear from me, reach out to me. Make sure I'm still alive. And uh, with that, I love you guys to pieces. I want to wish everybody a fantastic 2021. I am going to be optimistic that we kick COVID's butt. I'm being very optimistic. <laughs> Hopeful. <laughs> but anyway, um, y'all stay blessed. I love you guys to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.